Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my Angular course. Up to now we have seen all the active root gods and all those things we have seen, right? So I have, uh, I need to mention one thing. Uh, that is not one feature in the routing. That is not a god. It's a resolve. So what is this resolve? So prior to starting this resolve, in between this one, I have mentioned a word that how to pass the static data. Okay. So I have told you that. Uh, so we will be most probably not using this static data by passing like that we, we have, I have told you right so we, we can use not fully the static data type of things so we can use it in the result okay so how we will be using this result thing uh, static data concept in this result thing we'll see so what is this result so resolve is not a god what we can say is for example if I am moving from one page to another page okay so for example here when I'm clicking on get Leela details, so when I'm getting an edit user example, let's think. So when I'm clicking on edit user, first I need to get the, so if you have a scenario that you need to go back to the server and get the details of that person and you need to show here. Okay. So that means whenever that component is loaded, you need to make a backend call and you need to get the data. Okay. You need to get the data. Then only you need to show that component. So if you have something like that scenario, so what you will be doing, so simply you can go to the code and you can go to the edit user component okay so edit user component on the ng on it you will be writing the code okay so on ng on it you will be implementing the concept so instead of so what you will writing on ng on it before loading the template and all the things you will say that uh, please get the details from the server if the details is present please load that component or otherwise uh, written back to some other url you will be seeing but so these all concept, these all kinds of concept, we can do it in the resolve also. So what is this resolve means? So before loading the component, if you want to get any data from the backend server or anything, so resolve will get the data, and it will not restrict. If you didn't get the data, it will not restrict the route to be loaded. So it will allow the route to be loaded. So you can allow the route, and it will send the data to this component. So how we will see here? So before getting this one, so what we will try to do is here we will go to uh, what we can say in the services i will create a new folder resolvers okay something like this so already we have existing so now i can create a new file uh, what you can say is um, user resolve okay dot service dot it is also some kind of service only so what i can do is to export class user resolve service okay so user resolve service it, it, it is some kind of user resolve service and it should implement it should implement resolve okay so it has to implement resolve so where we can get this result so we can get this result from the angular router so at the rate angular slash router so we can get this result from here so what we need to do here I can get this result okay so now so we have implemented the resolve but here resolve we need to tell the type of data so you are making a backend call to the server so what type of data we are expecting so we need to mention the data so what i can do is i can i can create an interface user so we need to get a user so it will be having of type data of type string and also we can have name of type string so just i am defining a data now here i can mention that i will be getting from the backend server type of user okay so now we have mentioned the type of user we have mentioned the type of user now i need to implement a method so whenever you're implementing the result we need to implement a method what is that method so i can go here and i can do resolve okay so resolve also takes two parameters what is that one so route it is something like activated route snapshot and also another one is state so state will be of router state snapshot okay so these are the two things and also this could be what what is the type of data it could be expecting so it could be of type user okay or otherwise observable of type user or otherwise we can say it's a promise of type user okay in the same scenario we can expect now what i will try to send is first what we will try to do we will implement this user resolve service in the app.module.ps so i can go here and i can inject this in the providers automatically 
so now i have injected this user result service i need to import it so it is not working so we can go here and i can write import from services slash resolvers and having user result dot service so now i can go here and i can do user result service i have import i have to provide it in the providers now what i can do i need to create uh, we will create one users one service so that we will get the data from the service so what i will try to do is i will try to create one user dot service dot ts so now i am having here export class user so what it will do is i am having just a simple get user and if id is equal uh, so it will it will give, we will get the id okay if id is equal to is equal to what we can say is one okay now i will return so just the uh, time being i am writing the fake thing so here you will be making an a with that id you will be sending back to the api you will be calling that api and whatever the data you'll be getting you will send it to the result but here i am writing just id is equal to, is equal to one means return id is one and the name will be leela or else return same thing we will return with the name krishna okay so the same details so just i am sending it details now what i will try to do is i need to call in the user result service so if you want to call another service we need to do injectable okay i will be importing that injectable it should be imported from the angular code now here what i need to do i need to create a constructor and here you will be you will be using the private user service and of type user service it should be of type user service so we need to inject it in the app.module.ts so here if you go here and let's inject the user service user service so it's not working so we let's import that user service here import from services slash user dot service i am injecting the what i can say user service i am injecting the this is not working so we will see we will see here user oh sorry user service we will write we will name it as user service and here i can go user service we have injected the user service so that we can use that user service in the resolver so i am injecting the user service here so this is the constructor and here i need to get the user okay so we can get the uh, what we can say segments in the url using this route so now i can get let id is equal to uh, sorry route dot route dot params of id so there is no need to subscribe here why because all the time resolve will write when the component is uh, uh, loading so all the time this resolve will run so that is the reason so we, there is no need for us to subscribe to again now here what i will write is let details is equal to uh, this dot user service dot get user right get user of i will send this id and here what i will try to do i will try to write, return this details okay i will try to send these details so we have got the details here now what we need to do is we need to apply the result so where we can apply this result we can go to so if i check here so now what where, where i need to apply this result so in the users in, in the edit user when we click on this edit user first you need to get the details then only we need to load this edit user so now what we need to apply is so go to the app routing module and here in the edit user so where is this edit user yeah here i will be here i will be applying this what i can say resolve okay so you will be having another option resolve so resolve so this one is a special thing so you will be up it will be having an object it's not something like uh, what you can say is array of data so array of results we will be sending so here i need to whatever the data we are getting from the result we need to save it in user and i can call it here user result service okay so now the data will be saved in the user so from whatever the data is coming from the user result service from here the data will be saved in this user and this user data will be sent to the it will be sent to this edit user component so now i can go to this edit user component so now here in this ng on it there is no need for us to uh, to have 
this all details okay so here what i can do i can remove this one all okay i can uh, sorry by the way i will keep here and here i need to get means so this dot route dot so here we are param subscribe and all the things we are doing right so here we can do this dot route dot data so it will be present in the data whatever the data coming from the result it will be present in the data data dot subscribe you can subscribe to this data and whatever the data will be coming you can keep it like this okay and you can have it like this okay now you can you can assign this one directly to here so this dot user is equal to here. so here also this one also you can apply directly to here so you can remove this one okay so whatever the data you are coming from this one that will result will take care and result will send you the data so if there is an ajax call or anything miss result in the result you will be writing all the code and after the ajax call you will be writing here okay you will be getting the data here and now what what you can do is so you are getting the type of data right so everything is completed now what i will try to do now you will try to load it here so users now i am clicking on get trauma so you are getting uh, we first we need to log in okay so i am getting click, click on this one so i get the rama details so id is one so that means i have written a condition in such a way that if id is one means from the user dot service get the lila details okay now if i click on edit user now i am not getting any data okay so why i am not getting any data is so here so if you um, what i can say if you go to the edit user component and let's try to print the data how you will be having the data okay so console.log data so what is the data type of data you are getting now here if i go to inspect element so you will be having somewhat little different bit of data you will be having so let's let's see so users i went to the users here i clicked on and if i go to rama details so i am clicking on the edit user okay i got the data wrapped in the user okay the data is wrapped in the user i'm getting it as leela so that means whatever the date whatever the resolver so here if you go to the app routing module whatever the resolver you have given the object this object automatically we are getting that one from in the data so now here you can see it is wrapped in the user the data what we are getting from the user resolve it is wrapped in the user key so that means if you want to get those data you can what you need to do you need to write here data of user and you write 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 to hide write here data of user okay so this name should be equal to the here whatever the key you have used here you need to remember and here if i refresh this one if i click on login and here if i go here uh, if i clicking on this one rama details and i click here so now i am getting the leela details see so you will be able to see the difference so in this way we will be using the resolve resolve in the angular so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you